a reading from the Gospel of Luke. An argument arose among them as to which one of them was the greatest. But Jesus, aware of their inner thoughts, took a little child and put it by his side and said to them, Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least among all of you is the greatest. John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not stop him, for whoever is not against you is for you. What a disconcerting pair of conversations we have just heard. Disconcerting because Jesus, we are told, is aware of their inner thoughts. That's something which most of us would find disconcerting on a number of occasions. And here we found it woven in to a sense of identity and self-understanding and self-evaluation. Who is the greatest? Who is in and who is out? Who counts? Who doesn't count? And certainly they would not have expected Jesus to turn to a young child and say, this is the person who counts most. Of course, in one sense, that isn't true because God, we believe, loves everyone as equals. We are all beloved children of God. So there isn't really a divine ranking order going on. I think what Jesus is attempting to do with the ever hapless disciples is remind them that they need to deal with a whole new mindset. They need to get rid of a sense of superiority, self-importance, tribalism, any categories that say in and out, accepted or not accepted, all of that is not really conducive to God's mission in the world that we see enfleshed supremely and perfectly by Jesus and to which we are called to play a part in our own mission and ministry. Just don't think like that, says Jesus, and beware because I can perceive your inner thoughts. As we hear those challenging words, let's try and take control of our inner thoughts and have our thoughts focused on how we might effectively and committedly be loyal and active and loving followers of Jesus. Amen.